Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the Brabazon Golf Course. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're talking about the driver and we're talking about how you can find a go-to shot for when you have to hit the fairway. Just before we get started in the corner screen you should have the details for my social media accounts. So if you don't already then please go ahead and follow me on those. So the driver, such an important golf club for all golfers out there. Many of the golfers out there who struggle with maybe sixes or sevens on holes it's a result of the driver putting them in trouble off the tee. Maybe it's a lost ball, maybe it's in the trees and they have to chip out, whatever it may be. But the driver is very often responsible for those doubles and those triples on your scorecard. Therefore, it is important that we work on the driver and we try and hit the driver a little bit better. However, there is something we can do on the golf course, which can or will need to go sort of and be on the practice area first, but hopefully we can take it to the golf course. And it's what we call a go-to shot. So it's a shot that you can hit on the golf course, which you have a little bit of predictability over. So when I hit driver, I know what my predominant ball flight is. It's a right to left draw. Because of that, I can sometimes hit push shots and I can sometimes hit a ball which overshapes and misses left. So unfortunately, I might be able to hit my ball right of target and left of target. So if I find myself on a hole where I need to hit the fairway, what I want to do is I want to use a maybe a different setup or a different ball flight and I'm going to call this my go-to drive. So you'll notice hopefully that I've got the ball teed up but it's quite low. So I've teed that ball up significantly lower than what I would normally do. Now when I have to hit a fairway what I would tend to do is I would tend to tee the ball up a little bit lower. I would tend to align myself a little bit left of the fairway so maybe left rough or left trees and I would try and make a golf swing where I feel like I leave the club face a little open and I feel like I get that ball sort of sliding back to the right. Now this is something I've not just got on the course and tried, this is something I've used at the practice area and I've experimented with a few different ideas and this for me is quite predictable. Because of what I do in my setup, nine times out of ten that ball curves to the right. That's really the key for this because when I hit my normal drive, I could hit the ball to the right, I could hit the ball to the left. It's very difficult for me to predict which one's going to happen. When I use this go-to shot, I'm quite confident of what that ball's going to do. Sometimes it might curve a little bit more than others, but I'm generally going to find that ball starts left rough and it drifts to the right. So it's a little bit more predictable. Now, why is that the case for me? Well, when I tee the ball much lower, I tend to find that that encourages me to get what I call, or what I feel is a little bit more on top of it. So I find that my club path gets a little bit closer to what I would like it to be because that golf ball is a little bit lower. Couple that with the fact that I've aimed quite a long way left, I'm fairly confident when I hit these shots that my club path is somewhere up the left of the fairway. All I then have to really worry about is making sure my club face is right of where my club is swinging. And I can do that simply by feeling like I release the club a little later, hold the face open a little bit more and change how I rotate that club face. The reason this is my go-to shot and not my actual tee shot is because of what happens in my swing and my setup. I tend to hit the ball a little bit lower on the face. I don't tend to get quite as much ball speed. I tend to get a little bit more spin through the way I deliver the club and the face being open to it. It doesn't therefore go quite as far as I can hit my normal drive. So this isn't something I would like to do on you know, big open par fives where there's not much trouble because it's going to be maybe 20, 30 yards shorter. But certainly on holes where I feel like I need to hit the fairway, it's good to have a go-to shot. I want you to practice and experiment with what yours might be. It may well be that you're making a slower swing. It may well be that you're teeing the ball higher, lower. It may well be that you're trying to hit a fade. It may well be you're trying to hit a draw. It's going to be different for everybody. What we would like you to do is go to the practice area and maybe set up a small test. Pick a fairway on the range, picture that fairway, and let's try and hit 10 shots trying to fade it. 10 shots trying to draw it. 10 shots trying to make a slower swing. 10 shots where you tee it higher, 10 shots where you tee it lower, and just make some notes on what happens. You may well find that one of those you know, setups or scenarios makes that ball go in the fairway more often. That, therefore, might be your go-to shot. So let me go ahead and hit this one. So this is actually a hole which requires a right to left shot, but I can still hit the fairway because I'm fairly confident that what I'm going to do is going to get that ball to finish in play. So I'm going to aim way left. T is quite low, which is going to make me feel like I get more on top of it. I'm going to feel like I swing what I feel is more down and left. Face is going to stay open, and this ball is hopefully going to cut back into the middle of that fairway. 
and that's absolutely perfect. That started over the trees on the left, it's cutting back, landing right in the middle of the fairway. And as I say, that's certainly going to be a little bit shorter than what I could hit the driver. But I'm in play, I've almost guaranteed that it's going to be in play. I can now play my next shot from the fairway, and really that's the key to this exercise. It's making sure we can play our next shot from the fairway, even though it might be 20 or 30 yards further back than what you could be down there. So try and find yourself a go-to shot. Experiment with tee height, experiment with different curves on the golf ball, maybe different speeds, and see if you can find something that's going to be your go-to shot when you need to hit the fairway. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that's helpful to you. If it is, please click the like button. If you've got any comments, please post those in the boxes down below. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. And last thing, if you don't already, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. Loads more videos on my channel. Loads more going up weekly. Click the link in the description box down below. That'll take you to a subscription page and you hopefully won't miss any of the content. Thanks again for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.